All right, guys, this is Tuna from the Yardbird Tuna Podcast. Uh, what I have here is a 1988 YJ, and um, if you own a YJ, you understand the, uh, the issue with leaf springs, okay? So I, I dealt with quite a few things here. For one, when I bought it, somebody did a reverse shackle kit on the front, and they kind of botched the job. So I had to cut all the brackets off and re-weld in new brackets to put the leaf springs back where they were. The issue is... Is here in Pennsylvania, we do a lot of rock crawling. It's great, it's awesome, it's a lot of fun, slow, crawl, creep, whatever. And if you articulate too much, your tire gets stuffed up into the wheel well when you have the reverse shackle kit on, and therefore it limits what you can do. So to me, I put it back to factory specs, put the uh, shackles back up front so that when it articulates, it rolls forward rather than backwards and doesn't stuff in the defender well and destroy some shit. Anyway, so that's the first issue I had with that. Second issue was it's an 88, so it had a Pujo transmission in it, which is a piece of shit. If you have one, get rid of it. I uh, swapped out for an AX15, uh, swapped, swapped out the NP231 with a newer one Would that match the transmission. Not that it matters, it doesn't matter, but uh, we did a reverse... Um, no, we already said that. Uh, I did a uh, slip yoke eliminator, changed out to a uh, Tom Woods drive shaft. And what else we got going on? Swapped out the axles for uh, 410 axles out of a four cylinder. So we got lower axle uh, gear ratios, running 33s, four inch lift kit. Uh, and then after all said and done, I got tired of the 4.2 liter with the carbureted motor in it. Uh, honestly, it was, it was dogged out. It was fucking destroyed. So I could either rebuild that or for, I think, like a hundred bucks, I bought a, uh, a four liter with the fuel injection out of a Cherokee. Uh, I ordered a, uh, custom wiring harness so that I, I throw it in there with the computer out of the Cherokee and now everything fires right up and runs great. So, uh, so that's where we're at. <laughs> so now... Today's project is this. Uh, everybody keeps telling me, because I have a YJ, it's got leaf springs, and you need as much articulation as you can when you go off-roading. Yeah, that's great, uh, and I agree, it definitely helps quite a bit. The problem is, is when you go to drive this fucking thing down the highway, the steering has about 180 degrees of s rotation in it before it catches, because there's just so much slop in that front axle that it's, it's terrifying. So I can't drive it from my location here about two hours uh, to the mountains. I can't drive it from here up to the mountains without a, a strong gust of wind pushing me three lanes over. So now I'm back to the point of putting a track bar back into it. But I still want to be able to articulate. So now JKS offers this awesome product that I'm... I'm I can't wait to check it out. It's a, uh, it's basically a quick disconnect uh, track bar that I'm going to put in there. And uh, when we get up to the mountains and we want to go play in some rocks and shit, I can let it slip. It's got basically, uh, you know, on like a bicycle, the seat, how you tighten up the bolt, and you can extend the seat up or down. That's basically the same system we got going on here. You tighten up the bolt, it locks the track bar in place so you can drive down the highway and your steering's nice and tight again. And then when you get to the place where you want, you just bring yourself, uh, what size wrench does this say? Let's see what these uh, instructions are saying. Half inch. Bring yourself a couple half inch wrenches and boom, you're ready to go off-roading. Should have some wrenches with you anyway if you own a fucking Jeep, so. Anyway, that's today's project. Let's see what's going on. Okay, so now we're down here. What we got here is it's got heim joints on both sides. Can you see that? So we got here, here's your uh, clamp to tighten down when you want to drive on the highway, and it just slips in and out, quick and easy. And here on the other side, we got another heim joint. So uh, we're sw sw switching over to a heim joint system, and uh, one thing I did notice is, I'm gonna use my flashlight to try and point at it, is Right up here is the bracket on the frame rail where it's supposed to mount at. Now, if you're any kind of fucking dummy like me, 
that doesn't read instructions before I just think that I can go mount it in there without reading anything about it. What I noticed was is that it doesn't exactly line up too well with these heim joints and the uh, original bracket mount points, okay? So what they do is they sell you this beautiful little spacer. This spacer slides in where the the bracket is and uh, I'm going to show you very shortly how that looks. So what we got here is let me slide it in place. All right. Now, all right. So now that I got that repositioned, what I'm pointing at right here, this is that spacer that I was talking about. And what happens is, is you take the track bar, pick it up, try not to knock your fucking camera over if you're an asshole trying to make a video for YouTube. And uh, so what you're going to do is you're going to mount the fucking hind joint on the outside of the bracket. So there you go. So now it's mounted on the back side, the rear side of the bracket with the spacer in between. Put your nut on this side. And I did it that way. That way I don't have to drop my fucking uh, gearbox and uh, mount the bolt backwards. So uh, anyway, simple as that. It's fucking two, two nuts and bolts. And uh, I'll be honest with you. You bolt this bitch up, put it in place, and if you drive a fucking Jeep and you go off-roading a lot, let's be realistic. You really don't need to go get this thing fucking aligned because every time you quick, you disconnect the quick disconnect, it's going to fuck up your alignment just a little bit, okay? It's never going to be perfect. If you're a psycho about this thing tracking down the fucking highway nice and perfect, I got bad news for you. It's a fucking Jeep. It's not going to happen, okay? So... What you can do is best kind of eyeball it up yourself, and then when you do, tighten up that fucking sleeve, and you'll be rocking and rolling, man. Your steering will be nice and tight again. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause now. I'm going to tighten everything up, put it in place, and we're going to do a little test drive, and then fuck it, we're out of here. Quick and easy. All right. Well, I figured I'd be a nice guy and show you where I'm bolting it up to. So I have... Uh, Dana 30 up front here. I didn't swap out to my 44s yet. So I guess, uh, in all fairness, I'll show you how this thing mounts on there. And that way, uh, you can't yell at me and say, Oh my God, I don't know where it's supposed to mount at. Alright, dummies. So I got these two bolts fucking bolted in there. Now let's uh, tighten up this fucking adjustable piece. So, uh, let me get myself in position. And... With my handy dandy snap on electric ratchet. 916 up top here. Oh, yeah! Snug that bitch down. So now we're nice and tight again. Now, let me remind you fellas about some shit. Just in case you're a young, stupid ass kid and you're gonna fucking totally forget about this. See these bolts back here? These, these nuts? They're adjustable. So you can spin your track bar and push it out or in and adjust your tracking. Make sure you tighten them the fuck down, because if you don't, and this thing's just down here spinning around doing whatever the fuck it wants, you know, you're going to throw yourself out of track. So just don't be a fucking dummy about it. Just, just tighten these bolts up, okay? These nuts, that is. They're not bolts. They're nuts. Anyway. And then after that, we're fucking driving, baby. Take it for a little ride around the block and I'll let you know how it feels.
Wow. Fucking amazing. I mean, obviously, driving with track bars is uh, way better. I don't know. I would have to take it off-road and disconnect it and see how well it does. Uh, I am going to assume, just by the technology and the way I looked at it, that I think it's going to perform quite well, actually. I think it's going to articulate pretty good. As long as you have that drive, uh, the track bar, allowable to slip. So that means you're going to have to loosen up that, that locking bolt on there to allow it to slip. Anyway... I can actually drive mine down the fucking highway now and not have to worry about the wind pushing me off the side or uh, whatever, you know. So I'm over the moon about this. This is great. I'm really excited. JKS, great product. Uh, keep it up. Thank you. I'll see you guys.